So this recording can serve as a basic for MA economics entrance course or people who are there in their uh, and they're preparing for the semester exams. What is geometric distribution? So we have seen binomial distribution, negative binomial distribution. Now let's look at the geometric distribution. So geometric distribution is that the number of failures before you get a success. So in a series of Bernoulli trials, uh, for example, you, you roll a die, you roll a die repeatedly until three is going to be obtained, right? So the probability of getting three is fixed, which is one by six. And uh, the random variable X, that is the number of trials, it can take up any value. For example, you can have the, you can have the success on the first go, you can have the success on second, third, fourth. And I mean, theoretically speaking, you can have indefinite trials until the first success is going to be obtained. So please write alongside. And then we will also write a little difference between the uh, geometric and the binomial distribution. So the number of failures before you get the first success in a series of Bernoulli trials. Uh, so you can have a success or a failure. And uh, theoretically speaking, you can have indefinite number of trials. So I've given you the example. Let me just recreate it once more. You roll a die. You want to uh, you want to know that how many how many times you might have to uh, what do you call uh, roll a die before you get three. I mean, you can get it on the first go, on second go, on third go, or even the infinite one. I mean, you may not be able to get three. Uh, so before, so you're counting the number of failures before you get your first success. So let me write that example for you. So let us define geometric distribution now. Uh, let's write the formal definition for geometric distribution. It says this, that the first success is going to occur after K trials and P is the probability of the success, right? So geometric distribution, please write alongside. Geometric distribution defines the probability uh, defines the probability that the first success occurs after K trials. That the first success occurs after K trials, right? And if P is the probability of the success, then the probability of the success that it is going to occur on the Kth trial is given by the following thing. If P is the probability of the success, So in our dice example, the probability of success was one by six. Uh, then the probability that you will be getting three after kth trial, that probability is given by. If P is the probability of the success, then probability that success occurs on kth trial is given by is given by one minus p to the power k minus one into p. 1 minus p to the power k minus 1 into p. So 1 minus p is the probability of failure. p is the probability of success, right? Okay, so now let us try to find out the difference between the geometric and the binomial distribution. In geometric distribution, you are concerned only with the first success, right? 
your random variable x is the number of trials you will need to have in order to get that first success. In case of binomial distribution, you have the fixed number of trials. In geometric distribution, you are counting the number of trials you need to have in order to get the first success. In binomial distribution, you have the fixed number of trials. And you are finding out the probability of success in those fixed number of trials, right? In geometric distribution, you are concerned only with the probability of success for the first time. So please let me write the, uh, the difference for you. So this is what we have written. In geometric distribution, you are concerned with getting the, the first success after a certain number of trials. That is, I mean, you are counting the number of trials in order to get the first success, right? In binomial distribution, there are fixed number of trials and you are counting the success in those fixed number of trials. That's what it is. Uh, in geometric distribution, the probability mass function is given by your one minus P to the power X minus one into P where X is the number of trials which you have. Uh, here X, here random variable X is the number of successes in these trial. In case of binomial distribution, PMF is uh, NCX, uh, P to the power X, one minus P to the power N minus X, like this. Uh, so this is what the difference between geometric and the binomial distribution is. Uh, let me give you a few examples. Let me write the first example for you. Suppose you are a producer of tube lights and you find this, that out of 75 tube lights, third one, uh, sorry, three are defective. What is the probability that you will find the first faulty tube light on the sixth one you are testing? On the sixth one you are testing, you get the first faulty tube light. So what is the probability of success out here? Three upon 75 which is 0 0.04. Px equals to k is p into one minus p to the power k minus one, right? Here in our case, we have six trials. And uh, so you need to find out what is the probability that you will find out the first faulty tube light on the sixth trial? Six minus one. So this will come out to be 0 0.0326. So this is that probability, right? Uh, let me write one more example for you. So we have seen this kind of a game a lot. I mean, you go to an amusement park and uh, you go to a stall in which there are certain prizes which are there and uh, you have to throw a ring on that prize and that prize you will be able to have. Uh, so you throw a ring from a certain distance and uh, if you are able uh, to catch that prize, I mean, that prize is yours. What is observed is that only 30% of people are able to do this. So if someone is given five chances, what is the probability of his winning a prize when he has already missed four chances, right? When he has already missed four chances. Uh, so what is this? So P is the probability of success, which in this case is 0 0.3. Uh, so you are given with the, uh, if someone is given five chances, what is the probability of winning a prize when he has already missed four chances? So X is equal to five. That is number of failures before a success. Before a success. If someone is given five chances, uh, PX equals to five is P into one minus P to the power five minus one. So it is 0 0.3 to one minus 0 0.3 to 
to the power 5 minus 1 and this comes out to be 0 0.072 or 7.2 percent 7.2 percent so the probability of his winning a prize when he has already missed four chances is this 7.2 percent right so this is what i wanted to do in geometric distribution beta thank you